Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this quick tutorial, we're going to have a look at why strange things happen when you create new objects. Now, that could be a rectangle, it could be adding a new type box, or other things within InDesign. And basically, you might find that, for instance, when you're creating something like a new rectangle, um, you've always got a drop shadow there. Or if you're creating a new type box, we'll just grab our type tool, you've always got three columns in there or something like that. So these strange kind of settings that happen when you create a new object in InDesign that you can't quite figure out how to change. So for instance here, we're gonna fill this with placeholder text and it's this strange Arista 2 fat font. So basically the way this will happen is if you've made a setting change when you don't have something selected in InDesign, then it will have it as the default. So if I go to this rectangle, you can see that even if I come to my object and effects, come to the drop shadow and we'll turn that off, click OK. Still, when I make that next object, that next rectangle, or for instance, that next ellipse tool, it's always gonna be blue with that drop shadow. So basically what I need to do in order to stop that happening is come back to my selection tool, deselect everything. I'm just gonna click in the white space and go to object, effects, drop shadow, and turn off my drop shadow here. Now when I click OK, you'll notice I didn't have anything selected, so nothing's changed back to normal. I'll just delete these objects, and in fact, we'll actually change the, the color as well. The color will work from the same setting, so we'll make it magenta with a tint of 65%. And so now whenever I create a new ellipse or a new rectangle or other shape it's always going to create that and you can see we've lost the drop shadow so the key here is deselecting everything before you make that setting change so for our columns here we could go in and go to object text frame options and set the number of columns to one hit enter and that's going to fix it for that one particular text frame and then also same for the type we can select that type we'll change that to myriad pro and we fix that type from that big kind of fat type which is not what we need here but then when we go to create a new text frame, so I'm going to grab my type tool, drag that out, and go to type and fill with placeholder text, we still end up with those three columns and that big fat type. So basically, I need to click away from this, come to my type and my character, and this is where you can set the default font that you want to use all the time. So here I'm going to select Myriad Pro, we'll keep it nice and simple, we'll set it at 14 points, and We'll leave it at that for the moment. I've got my language is English UK. So if you always want your language to be USA or Finnish or a different language, then you can set that here as well. And that will be your default language for when you do spell check. So we'll delete this box. And now you can see when I draw out a new box, I still got those three columns. We forgot to go into the text frame options. I go to object, text frame options. I have nothing selected now. I'm gonna change that back down to one. And now whenever I create a new text frame, we don't have those three columns. When I fill with placeholder text, we have Myriad Pro 14 point, the type size that we'd set when we deselected everything. So the key here for the default settings is when you wanna set the default settings for a particular object or text frame that you're adding, you basically need to deselect everything, make that change in the text frame options, in the character panels, or in the effects drop down menu. And that will basically then set the default. Hopefully this has been a useful tutorial and stop those strange things happening when you're working in InDesign. If you have any questions, then please do leave them below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.